it's all, there's always a solemn reminder, of course, for um, the reality of what you guys do every single day. Sure. But it's important, too, because we hear a lot of, about fallen police officers, and the reality is those firefighters are running into danger every day. They, they go into a house or a business that's on fire. That, that they are. There's 22 fallen firefighters that we have this year, and those 22 succumb to injuries from anywhere from collapses and structure fires, barge uh, fires, trapped, heart attacks. Um, somebody was shot on duty, if you can believe that, a number of years ago. Um, and this is our third year of doing it. And it's really uh, our way of paying respects to the families of those fallen. And this is also um, a reminder as well of those who are serving now right. and do what they do every every day. And that's important too, because there are so many who we rely on in cases of an emergency. Of course, and what we don't is everybody, the men and women that show up to work every day, God forbid something does happen. This is our way of showing we're not gonna forget you, that you know the fire department in the city is gonna come out to honor your sacrifice. So let's talk a little bit about this because you want support from the community as well. Encouraging people, business owners, anyone who lives in the downtown area, it starts right near the Jacksonville Landing it does. and stretches for a mile. Sure. So it'll start tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. We're going to have about 22 pieces of apparatus. We'll have our pipes and drums, our honor guard. In years past, we get somewhere between three to 500 firemen that'll show up and march all in their Class A uniform, their blue uniforms. And we'd love for people to come out, uh, dress in blue. Uh, we'd love to see you sitting on the streets. If you have young kids, you know, obviously that aren't in school and want to see the fire trucks come out, we'd love to be part of that. And this is such a sight. Does it warm your heart when you see not just, I mean, it, it just moves you, quite frankly, and to see people who come out and, and because you don't get it every day. You have a thankless job, right? right. You know, and to be able to um, show this through the streets of downtown and get the support of the community, it's important. It is. You know, uh, four years ago, more family members showed up at the ceremony than firemen. Mm -hmm. And we decided, you know, as, as a department, we could do better. And the very first year, I think we had like 300 off-duty firemen show up, and the years subsequent have been more. And, and it's more than just Duval County as well. Sure. There are other counties that come in that want to walk with us. What kind of feedback do you get from those who participate in this, from the firemen who are off duty? You know, the, uh, the a feeling of camaraderie. You know, it's it's the largest gathering each year. We're actually in uniform. Uh, whatever issues, differences, whatever's going on, this kind of just resets why you're a fireman and what we do. And, um, you know, it should pays our respects to the families. Chief, thank you for being no, here. Thank I you for having it. me. I thank appreciate it. Thank you for it. all that you and the firemen and women do every day to keep our city safe, quite frankly. Uh, the Sea of Blue marches tomorrow begins at 10 a.m., as the chief mentioned, in downtown Jacksonville, right there near the landing. Hundreds will gather near the foot of South Hogan Street, and then they will continue that one-mile march, of course. If